What's up everyone all around the world? I'm Jeff Teague in Raleigh, North Carolina. Today we're talking 4Runner, one of my favorite vehicles, and we're talking two of the toughest, roughest, baddest, meanest trim levels on the planet right here. We've got the TRD Off-Road Premium. We've got the TRD Pro 2021s. Let's take a look. This is the window sticker for TRD Pro, and I'm gonna show you the exclusive features that are on TRD Pro that might add to the value it also might add to the price. We've got the 17 inch TRD flow form alloy wheels. They're more concave. And then we've got the Nitto Terra Grappler tires, TRD tuned Fox shocks and springs, TRD stamped aluminum front skid plate, the Toyota front grille, the badging, the shift knob, all weather floor liners, LED fog lights, rigid industries, and then the black roof basket. So pay attention to those as we go forth. The first thing I'm gonna do, and we don't normally do this, is talk pricing. Talk the delta between the two, the change, the difference. Oh, it's a lot. The 4Runner TRD Pro, that's gonna be $7,400 more base factory price than TRD Off-Road Premium. It comes with several features and upgrades that you may like, and you may think are unnecessary. So that could make a difference in your decision making right off the bat. But we're talking value here and we're talking preference. You're gonna buy what you're gonna buy. You're gonna buy what's best for you and your family and what you like. My job is to break it down and show you the differences so you can determine what is the best value. We're gonna introduce you to our contestants, but first, please write down a comment, hit the like button, and also write down where you're watching the video from. I'm very curious to see if you're in North Carolina where I am, or if you're in Seattle or New England or Texas, or maybe a different country, that would be really cool. So tell me where you're watching it from. Tell me what you love about 4Runners. Just leave a comment so I know you're out there. I want everybody's comments and thoughts and opinions to be known and to be heard and to be welcomed and encouraged. That's what my channel does. That's what my forum does. If you like it, hit subscribe. Now, 2021 4Runner TRD Off-Road Premium in classic silver metallic versus 2021 4Runner TRD Pro in Lunar Rock. That's right, the Lunar Rock. I wanna talk about the cargo area because when you order or when you select your vehicle, you're gonna get one of two different options, one of two different configurations. You can have a sliding rear cargo deck or you can get an empty compartment. There's no third row option for the TRD Off-Road or for TRD Pro. This one has the sliding rear cargo deck. It's not exclusive to the off-road premium, which this is right here. You can get it on either one. I just want to show you the differences. So you can sit on it here. It holds about 440 pounds, so you can watch your kids' games. You can sit and tailgate. You can probably back it right up to the water and fish. Darn those landscapers. Ugh. If you hear that blowing noise in the background, that's the landscapers doing an important job. They're making the property look beautiful, but they're supposed to be here on Wednesdays. I'm filming on a Thursday because I knew they wouldn't be here and that wouldn't interrupt the audio. This is an empty cargo compartment. Thanks for letting me vent, I appreciate it. I just want crystal clear audio for you guys. It's really tough with them. Anyway, empty cargo compartment, so you don't have the cargo deck that pulls out, but you've got more room to stack up. Which one do you prefer? Let's take a look at the badging so you can see some differences here. With the Lunar Rock, you're gonna see, because it's TRD Pro, it's gonna have black Toyota badge, 4Runner symbol, TRD Pro. The towing capacity on both of these is 5,000 pounds, and the back window on both of them comes down. Of course, you can see the roof basket on top as well. Off-Road Premium has badging on the side, so you know it's an off-road. It has chrome badging for Toyota symbol and 4Runner, and then it doesn't have anything here, but it has a 5,000 pound tow capacity, just like TRD Pro, and the back window comes down no roof basket. We're gonna start with the profile of TRD Off-Road Premium. One thing you'll know, the reason why you know it's a premium just by looking at it, it has a turn signal indicator. That's an upgrade on the premium. Also smart key, push button start. That's a premium. Also power passenger seat. So look for some of those things. You'll see it has 17 inch alloy wheels. I'll show you a close up in just a minute. It's two tone. Then of course it's got the auto lock and unlock that goes along with the smart key badging that badging kind of matches actually the silver paint now it's close-up time here we go and then let's look at these black and polished metal 17 inch alloy wheel what do you think of these should we compare them to the TRD 
Now in Southeast Toyota, you can get an upgrade of an XP Predator package. It's only with Southeast Toyota region. So if you buy one in the Southeast, you can get that XP Predator, which gives you the TRD wheels and beefed up tires too. TRD Pro in the house. Look at these Nitto Terra Grappler tires with the red and black wheels, 17 inch. This has the optional Predator Pro step bars on it. It's available in our Southeast region. I'm not sure if it's available in other regions. And sometimes we can ship accessories to other regions. Sometimes they have to stay within Southeast Toyota. That's up to Southeast Toyota region. So if you call our parts department, just know that. And then what do you think about the black badging along the side? And that cargo basket does one jump out at you versus the other so far? Let's look inside the interior of our Lunar Rock TRD Pro friend. It has soft tech seating. It's black with red accent stitching. You'll see similar in the off-road premium. Look at the all-weather liner that comes with it. It's one piece design. And then we've got two USB ports in the back along with rear air vents. And then here's the, there's me in the rear view mirror. But look at these huge windows in 4Runner. Lots of great visibility. Easy to see from just about every angle. Has the eight inch touch screen, JBL sound system, premium audio with dynamic navigation system. It's beautiful. The TRD Off-Road Premium also has the premium audio with dynamic navigation system built in. So that's a huge plus. You'll notice that the interior looks very similar. Black with red stitching. It also has the rear air vents and the two USB ports. That was added as of 2020 model year. Those rear USB ports along with the eight inch multimedia touch screen. I just wanted to turn one of these on so you could see what it looks like. And then we're gonna do a full interior scan. This is the power passenger seat I was telling you about. It goes forward and backward and then the back of the seat goes backward and forward. It's called a four-way power passenger seat. Take a look at the glove box so you can see where you can store things. Like that. Take a look at the interior design, more of a carbon fiber type design. And then in here, it'll be the same in TRD Pro too. So I'm just gonna show you in one of the vehicles, 12 volt circular port. Also it has the glass that moves up and down. There's your button on the left, along with heated seats. TRD shift knob, you'll see that also in TRD Pro. The plugins. We're gonna go to the other side so the sun's not in our eyes. How's TRD? Off-road premium look, everyone. Woo! That's not standard, that moonroof. I like to go back into TRD Pro so you can see. It has the power driver seat along with lumbar support. These are all four one-touch windows, so if you push that when the car's turned on, it'll just go down. It'll go up. Automatic high beams. You'll see these on the same one here. We've got the wattage that goes to the back so it draws power there. A leather wrapped steering wheel. Then it has an auto dimming rear view mirror and both of these vehicles have crawl control and multi-terrain select. So you can do a low speed cruise control if you're in an obstacle with tough terrain. You can focus on your steering while the car focuses on light acceleration and light braking. Multi-terrain select. If you're driving over loose mud and sand, rock and dirt, moguls or boulders, you can switch it to that traction. The lower ones, the lower setting, allow for more wheel spin, like the mud and sand, rock and dirt, and then it gets a little bit tougher as you go on the tougher terrain. Active traction control, locking rear differential. It's got home link for garage door openers and safety connect. The moonroof. All right, TRD Pro. Power passenger seat, similar to 
the off-road premium. But look at this. We have, this is a Southeast Toyota option. I don't know if your region has it, but it's the center console safe. So you can hide your belongings in here. I don't have it set to open, but that's what takes that place. So you can lock your valuables up. It's a really good option. It's available, I believe in Southeast Toyota. Well, I know it is Southeast Toyota, but I'm not sure about other regions at all, or if we can even send that part to other regions. All right, how's TRD Pro look on the inside? The middle seats, how do they fold down? I'll show you that. You pull up here, move the headrest down, and then fold it, and it folds relatively flat. Pull it up, headrest, and then fold down. There's a little bit of a hump right here as Buffalo Bill and Silence of the Lambs would say, are you about a size 14? But it's flat right here so you can stack boxes up like that. Yeah. Uh oh. Offer premium folds down in a similar fashion. But this one is completely flat. Maybe I should show you those differences here. So, so this is completely flat right here. And then the TRD Pro has a little bit of a hump from the back part to this part. Let me show you closer. This is the off-road premium. So see how it's completely flat? Okay. This would be a great one for sleeping in, for camping and overlanding. And this is the TRD Pro. Again, it's flat, but not completely flat. See the difference there? Just a little bit of a slope. I don't even think your dogs would mind that. They wouldn't care at all, they'd love it. Oh, you guys, I'm already plotting my revenge. I'm going to sing karaoke for you and damage your ears. <laughs> now the front ends of the vehicles, they're similar, but they're also very different. And I want to show you something specifically involving the LED lights. All Forerunners now have LED headlights and LED fog lights, but the TRD Pro along with the Limiteds, they have LED high beams as well. This one has Rigid Industries high intensity fog light. So I want to show you the difference up close. Take a look at me now. You can see LED fog lights. This is the TRD Off-Road Premium and there are the fog lights right there, okay? Yeah, they shine bright. They look great. They last a long time. Now look at these ones right here, the Rigid Industries. See? There's a difference there. Let me see if I can show you. Can I do that? There's that one versus this one, okay? This one on TRD Pro versus that one. And then this is the grill on Off-Road Premium versus that one on TRD Pro. Does that make a difference to you? Do you care about the Toyota grill? And then look, TRD Pro has the hood scoop, but it's got the black accented hood scoop. It's one way you know you're looking at a TRD Pro. And then off-road premium. Now look up here, see that trapezoid? We're learning our shapes today, guys. Geometry again. Oh no, back to geometry. That's the camera for Toyota safety sets. This is the radar technology right there for Toyota safety sense. See it there. It's everywhere. This is a question I get asked all the time, suspension. How is it different for the different trim levels? Well, first of all, the off-road premium, that has coil spring suspension. It's coil spring double wishbone in the front, coil spring four link in the back, but you can get the upgraded kinetic dynamic suspension system, KDSS. That's designed to be able to handle big fluctuations in 
ruts and grooves and bumps when you're going off-roading, but it's very smooth when you're going just on everyday driving on the road, on the highway. This one right here has the Fox shocks, and that's designed to take a mean licking when you're on your trails. Let's look underneath the off-road premium so you can see the plate right there. And then I'll try to show you the suspension as well. Let's take a look at our friend TRD Pro here and see if we notice a difference. There's that signature front skid plate here. Okay, the aluminum skid plate. And then we'll look, see if we can see some Fox shocks. F-O-X from the movie You've Got Mail. F-O-X. Does suspension matter to you when you're looking at a vehicle? With engine performance, we're looking at the same thing for both vehicles here. We've got a 4.0 liter V6 engine in the off-road premium and in the TRD Pro, or the SR5, or the Venture, or the Trail, or the Limited, or the Nightshade. You get it? It's the same for all of them. This 4.0, 4.0, great grade point average. Woo, GPA in the house, holla. But it gets 270 horsepower and 278 foot-pounds of torque. It's matched with a five-speed automatic transmission. Both vehicles are equipped with the same off-roading resources so that you can get through obstacles, out of obstacles, into and out of tough jams. You can hit that remote trail. You can hit that mountain pass. You can drive it on the beach because you have hill start assist. You've got locking rear differential. That locks both of the rear wheels on the same axle so they both turn at the same revolution, both do the same amount of work, that can get you out of a jam if you're stuck. Even if one wheel is not able to do the same amount of work, they both turn at the same revolution. Everybody equal work. That's a crude way to describe it, but that's what it does. And then you've got multi-terrain select, choose different types of terrain so that you can get the best traction possible. Snow, rocks, mud, sand, moguls, that kind of stuff. And then crawl control. Crawl control you won't use very much unless you're in like the, the thick desert sand and you wanna get out of it. It's a low speed cruise control. You focus on your steering. It won't be quite easy, but you focus on the steering while the car does the driving and the braking for you. This is the window sticker for TRD Pro. Right here, made in Japan, Lunar Rock. Who knows what next year's exclusive color will be for TRD Pro. The safety ratings, and here's the fuel mileage. On all four runners, it combines for 17, up to 19 on the highway. And then we've got right here, the 4.0 liter engine, locking rear differential, crawl control, multi-terrain select, hill start assist. Those will be on both of these. Toyota Safety Sense, premium audio standard, Then we've got the factory MSRP of 50,470. 51,590 here. And then we're gonna carry this over here. We've got some extra options. The Predator Pro Step Bars, those are a Southeast Toyota option that you can get. That's only available in Southeast Toyota from what I understand. It may not be available in all areas, okay? And if you want it from a different area, those do cost a lot of money to ship. So if you call my parts department, you will have to pay for extra shipping. It's got the center console safe, black emblem overlays, LED interior lights, cargo cover, all weather mat. So it's got a lot of options on it. And then this one right here will be with those options, 54,000. This is the window sticker for TRD Off-Road Premium, classic silver, safety ratings, the fuel mileage, Here's the factory MSRP, 43,000. It has the KDSS on it, sliding rear cargo deck, the moonroof. Here's the standard features. Also has premium audio on it. So we're gonna take 43,000, add in the options, Delivery, 46,000. 
And then does it have any features on it? Options added at the regional assembly point, all weather cargo mats, cable charging package. That one's gonna be 46,422. Here we go. I've done the heavy lifting. I've compared, I've contrasted. We've told you the pricing. I've told you the value in each one, the extra options and upgrades on one versus the other. Now you have to write down in the comment section, maybe write down which one you thought you would like before the video started. And did that change? Or did your opinion stay the same as you watched the video all the way through? I think that would be an excellent method for debate or an excellent topic of discussion. Did your thoughts change as you looked at each one of them? Or if price doesn't matter, which one would you pick? So lots of different ways to go with your comment, but each one leave a comment for. Each person leave a comment. Thank you guys so much. Follow us on Toyota Jeff Instagram, Toyota Jeff One. Follow us on Facebook, Toyota Jeff. My writing is torquenews.com slash Toyota. And then my website is toyotajeff.com. I appreciate everybody. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see you next time.